torn apart, Kate and William split. Now that Meghan and Harry have stepped back from royal duties, it appears it is up to William and Kate to pick up the workload. And it's already taking a heavy toll on the couple. Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge have always played very active roles since they married in 2011. But the level of dedication to their official duties is set ramp up significantly. We've already seen Kate begin to partake in more solo outings in recent years, and that's only going to increase in the months and years to come, meaning much more time away from her husband, William. According to raw author Phil Dampier, who spoke to Express.co.uk, they might well space themselves out a bit more and she might well start doing things purely to spread themselves around so they can cover a bit more. When the lockdown is over, they might well do more solo trips. They can get more done, get more parts of the country and get more jobs done. That's a real responsibility. Now, will Kate cope with the added workload? Kate has already embarked on her first solo trip in the UK this year, promoting her five big questions on the under fives. She has also been busy launching her photography competition with the National Portrait Gallery and partaking in her first podcast, where she openly spoke about her struggle as a working mom. What's more, the solo trips without husband William are only set to increase as the couple cover the royal duties of two extra roles, Harry and Meghan's. Extra duties could mean less family time for the royal couple. Just last week, Kate was one of the first royals, as well as William, Prince Charles, and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, to begin public outings once again amid the COVID pandemic. With so much time dedicated to her royal duties, which is only growing more and more strenuous, will she have any downtime to spend with the prince? 